Welcome back! Uh, we're just gonna ignore Tiny. Uh, we're in the market for a used spaceship, and our previous two purchases didn't work out so well, so let's take a look at this uh, ship here. Shut up! Well, there's a man with a good eye! This here's the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere! Tom for the line, handles like a chum! Do it for, for cruising the asteroid fields! I want to cruise an asteroid field, I want to save the universe! Can't you give me a saving the universe discount? And she's got all the thrust a guy could need, I tell ya! She's an outright steal at 214 buckzoids! Of course, uh, minus your 70 buckzoid credit, that will come to uh, 144 buckzoids! Well, um, uh, since that's the only ship he has left that we haven't tried yet, and it's actually not bad looking, it appears to be a Drellian cruiser. They have a reputation for quickness and reliability. You are surprised that someone of Tiny's caliber would be carrying it. Well, it seems that he is carrying it, so um, let's buy it. Seems to be the only uh, possible option here. I tell you, I think you've made a wise decision. She's a beauty. Keys are in her. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. Um, well... That seems uh, to have worked out fine this time. We got points, so that probably means that it's the right choice. So let's take off and go find the Deltor. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, uh, by the way, you can need a droid to help you fly that thing. Well, uh, good luck. Come again. Wait, I need a droid? You, you didn't tell me nothing about no droid. Damn you, Tiny. Damn you! Seated in the cruiser, you notice there are no controls within reach, just a button marked LOAD. Tiny must have been serious when he said you needed, needed a droid to fly this thing. And since you are currently droidless, there seems to be nothing else to do but climb out. Well, I guess we do have a reason to go to this droid be us place. I like the painting on the front of the ship, by the way. Um, let's see here, the bigger barrier. No, we, we can't, we're not even allowed to look at it. This robot is a very old model. Somehow he looks tired and depressed. Hey, I recognize that droid. Just forgotten the name of the TV show he's from. What? Carbon-based life forms can be so trying sometimes. If you haven't purchased a robot, I have nothing for you. Now go away. Um, is he the one from Lost in Space, or is that a different one? I might be confusing it. Does he smell like something? It smells like a fine grain of light machine or oil. You're expecting high karate, perhaps? No, not really. Why on Earth, or Corona for that matter, would you want to do that? In the hopes you were giving me a funny ma message, and you did, so that worked out nicely. See, so we can actually find the entrance to this place. Might be a little bit more useful. There we go. This robot is a security droid. He can scan an area in infrared, ultraviolet, and infra-altered charge rooms. Mm hmm yeah. Weird looking thing. How about this one? It's a robot that seems to be saying, Buy me. Take me home. The sign over the door says, Droids be us. The sign says, All sales final. In 1438 languages. Wow, they must use really tiny writing. This is the Droids be us storefront. They sell droids for all purposes. Really? Even sex bots? Nothing here smells. Oh well, let's uh, head in. We have a coupon for uh, Droid Spiaz, actually. This coupon gives you a 20% discount at the Droid Spiaz near, near you. How helpful! Those suckers have the highest droid prices in the universe. Well, let's see what we can find. 
Greetings, sir! Allow me to show you our fine line of robots, otherwise known as droids! We have a wide variety of work-saving, life-enhancing, shiny new factory fresh technological wonders of modern engineering wizardry. Does he now? However, I can see that we would be more uh, interested in our line of economy, pr economy priced used robots, wouldn't we? Please observe our robot preview screen. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, yeah, you can actually talk to him about most of the droids. Uh, well, I'm just gonna give him the coupon first, though. Very good, sir. This coupon entitles you to a reduction of 20% in price of any of our fine previously owned droids. Oh, nice. Ah, this model is one of my personal favorites. It was produced exclusively for Droids PS by a small planet who used to these mechanical warriors to fight their battles. The Death Tech Droid is apparently what it's called. That race killed themselves off, however, and spare parts are nearly impossible to find. Don't bother haggling, this one's worth 55 Bakazoids for the parts alone. That would be uh, 46 Bakazoids with a coupon. This model was originally designed as a family companion on those long space vacations. That's the droid from Lost in Space. However, the manufacturer had to discontinue it due to a psychological disorder. Whenever it gets excited, it waves its arms around wildly and yells, Danger! Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! If you can live with the paranoia though, it makes a great babysitter! And if you've got kids, you'll appreciate its low, low price of 698 bucksoids. 559 with a coupon. Oh, well, we can't afford that. So, uh, and besides, we don't need one. We need a navigator droid. Ah, yes. A truly beautiful piece of machinery. This design rates 5 stars. Although a handsome machine, this robot has a habit of killing people without any real reason. Oh, that's a bit of a drawback. I'd love to sell you one, but uh, every last one I had was snapped up by a movie director from New Japan 4. Sorry. <laughs> the brand name says it all. SUX is a major manufacturer of refrigerators, dishwashers, and someday, even time machines. I think that's a reference to Space Quest 4. Uh, I just happen to have one of these in stock. It's been completely reconditioned since its regrettable accident that took lives of... Uh, but of course you wouldn't want to hear about that. No, of course not. Yes, this dandy compact unit goes for a mere 29 bucketoids. 23 with a coupon. You can't go wrong when it's SUX. Well, something tells me with this name it's not a good idea. We'll uh, wait for the next one. How about this one? These little robots are perfect for gardening chores. And they don't mind at all if they're away on the space missions for centuries. The HU-1D. Yes, sir. They may look like Kleenex boxes, but they're built around a long time. And quiet, you bet. I got the impression that I completely changed his accent at some point. We've got a set of three, and you can have them all for just 999 Bakazoids. 7.99 with a coupon. Oh, we can't afford that either. Dalek. Um, this model has had a bad rep. Unearned, it, unearned if you ask me. They're just a wee bit too ambitious, is all. And who of us isn't? It's quite an endearing quality, actually. However, we're fresh out of them right now. Nobody seems to survive long enough to trade them in. You silly insect. Daleks aren't robots. Exterminate! These are really some of the most useful all-purpose robots around and extremely good with children. H-I-Y-I-O, or something. Um, of course, they're all in hibernation this time of the year the century. I would let you have them for just 875 Bakazoids. 700 with a coupon. Again, way out of our budget. Still not enough, droid. This is one of my better bodyguard models. And it also doubles as a radial arm saw. It has one fault, it was probably a tendency to be overzealous. It's no longer available except for demolition purposes. 
His memory isn't best, so I'll let you have him for just 512 Bugzoids. 410 with the coupon! Oh, no. How about this one? These robots have a bad attitude. You've got to keep them in line, or they'll walk all over you. Probably not a good idea to let, let Roger have one, then. Uh, well, maybe you shouldn't consider buying this particular model. Seems like this guy agrees. That model is ideal for flight systems operations. It will pilot any modern fighter or cruiser. And it is one of the most experienced droids we carry. I ask only 45 Pacazoids for it. 36 with a coupon. I got it from some gambling type who was required to pay up or perish. Well, that's the one we want, but unfortunately it looks like it's got off screen. Well, we haven't talked about this one. I missed it again. Well, we'll wait until the nav droid comes back up, and then pay, uh... This... Sills... Whatever it is. Grasshopper. I like all the little science fiction references they put in this, uh... <laughs> this bit of the game. You may pick up your purchase at our convenient Droids PS Pickup Area, located just out the door and to your right. Great! And what was this droid from if it's not from Austin Space? I don't remember. Hello, sir. Your new robot will be here in a moment. Here it comes. Well, there he is, sir. Programmed to follow you around like a whimpering little puppy dog. How humiliating. Well, uh, we got ourselves a droid, which means we can fly away from here using our uh, ship. But we'll do that in the next video.